everybody, Dave from Erie Records, back again, 12 Days of Christmas, Day 3, Lassiodora. Um, yes, we are hitting the Lassiodora species, I have three of them, this is the Kalugi. Um, probably my favorite, I would think, out of all of them, I do like the name Kalugi. Um, I think this is, if I'm right, Bahia Scarlet Bird Eater, I'm not positive if I'm right on that or not, I really don't. I don't think this guy's going to eat, uh... So we're probably going to end up taking little Dubia out of there. But uh, yeah, uh, I don't know how long I've had this one actually. Maybe maybe nine months or so, maybe a little bit longer. I'd have to look at my records. But uh, it's done well so far. It's molted once or twice, I believe. Uh, got some decent size each time. So I uh, haven't had much problems. And again, you look at it, it looks just like a Lassiodora Paribonis sling. So it's it's kind of weird how they all kind of resemble each other and we'll see what the difficilis looks like as it gets older but i'll show you that one because it's just a little tiny sling uh one of my three smallest that i do have uh slings as far i mean uh, three smallest slings that i have in the collection so let me get the difficilis down and i'll bring the little pair i bought down with it and then we'll finish with big mama um and then i'll tell you a quick story about big mama Okay, so here is the tiny Diffacillus. This little guy has molted like twice since I've had him, believe it or not. I uh, got him as a second instar. We'll get this carcass out of here. Um, and, uh, I, you know, feeding-wise, I just put pre-killed in there and let him do its thing. Um, I was doing the fruit fly things, and that just didn't work out very well. So we've been doing the pre-kill, which seems to work out a little bit better. Uh, I don't know if that little bolus there was eaten or not, but uh, yeah. So they stay they stay little for a while. Now they don't grow huge real fast like everybody thinks they do. Um, you can see it's dry in there right now, so we're gonna moisten that down. Um, where's my little tiny sprayer? There it is. Um, this is what I generally do with these guys. So we'll just. Nope, you stay in there. We had a pair of Ibana that was this size that uh, took off. Uh, never found it, so maybe we'll end up with an 8-inch spider here in the house sometime. But, uh, yeah, just give them a little bit of water, soak the substrate one side, let them decide what it wants to do. But uh, they haven't really dug. Um, they just kind of sit there. So this is the Lassiodor difficilis, and I'll show you the little tiny pair of Ibana, and you can tell me which one, how much different they look. Um, I bet you really can't tell. Okay, so there's the little tiny Lassiodora paribana, which would make our three Lassiodora species on the third day of Christmas. Um, we will feed Big Mama though. So, uh, well, we'll try anyway. I don't know if she's going to want to eat or not, but you can see these, both of these little guys are both kind of shiny. So I do expect them to probably molt in the not too distant future and once they do we'll see what kind of size they pick up on this one they'll probably end up graduating to either the deeper deli cups like these instead of these are the two ounce we'd go with the four ounce or six ounce or whatever they are or we'll just go right to the baseball cubes um i've noticed that i've had a little bit of problems if when i'm putting some of these little tiny things into the baseball cubes too small um i've not lost them as far as lost them bye bye but uh, a couple of them have died so i kind of worry about putting these little tiny guys in there. So what I want to do is kind of like decorate it a little bit more so that there's more structure to it instead of just putting dirt in there and then letting the spider just sit there. So we'll see how that works out and uh, we'll go from there. But we're going to get the, the big Lassiodora Paribana down and then we'll tell you the story about her. Okay, so this is the enclosure for the uh, sub-adult female Lassiodora Paribana. We'll see if we can get her to come out. There she is. There she is. So, um, maybe she'll come back out for us. And I'll tell you the quick story while I'm here. <clears throat> Hopefully this will be out before we do this. But what's going on is on the Tarantula Community Group, the one of the groups that I helped found uh, or helped develop with Amy and Quentin Salinas, um, <clears throat> they decided or we decided that we were going to do a sponsor family for Christmas. One of the members that was a little down on their luck. Um, the single mom with a couple of young daughters and she's having a hard time with Christmas and getting presents and stuff like that. So what we decided to do again was sponsor family so people could donate money to help 
uh, have them have a decent Christmas. And I'm and we're having a couple auctions. And my my end of the auction is this gal right here. Um, again, a beautiful female Lassiador Parabona, and it's not that I really wanted to get rid of her, but I I think that she would bring at least a decent amount of money. I mean, not a ton, but at least a decent amount of money to help out this family. And, you know, because of me being off as long as I have and Lynn being off as long as she has, once I got back to work, um, you know, we have, we're fine for Christmas. I mean, it's not that problem, but you know, money is a little bit tighter. So I couldn't really donate money. And so I thought the best thing that I could do would be to donate something that could draw a little bit of money anyway. And we have the little LP. So hopefully the little LP will grow up to be a female, just like this one. And we'll watch that one grow. But uh, I've had a lot of fun raising her. So, you know, if you guys are part of the Tarantula Community Facebook group and you're interested in bidding on her, maybe the auction's been out. Maybe it hasn't. I don't know. But uh, sorry about that. Actually, you know, she she might have already been auctioned off. I don't know. She may not even be here anymore by the time that you're watching this video. So let's see if she'll, we can get her back out. You can have the stick too, yeah. Um, yeah, you don't you don't want to grab anything with her. She'll she'll take whatever she can. She's uh, she's been a joy, uh, a lot of fun with her. She she was one of my most popular videos actually. It was called a uh, crazy feeding of a feeding of a crazy Lassadora Parabona, and it was one of my <clears throat> first you know handful of videos that I did. You gonna let me take that back, dear? Um, you know, sometimes you just gotta let them take it. Then they realize it's actually not food. But, um, yeah, the, it, it's one of my most popular videos, believe it or not. It was just her running around in her enclosure, you know, during a feeding. And I was actually kind of surprised how many views it has. But, uh, so, you know, I mean, I'm gonna miss her. But, again, I think that whoever gets her is gonna get a great spider. And is gonna be really, really helping, you know, a family out. <clears throat> For the holidays, so hopefully she'll she'll bring a decent amount of money anyway, at least, you know, to get some some decent Christmas gifts for this family. So, if um, if it's not done by the time you watch this video, the the auctions or the donations, you'll be able to to find that on the Tarantula community. Look under the announcement section, and you'll be able to find sponsor family for Christmas. So, yeah, there we go. The third day of Christmas, three Lassiadora Parabonas crazy gal here hopefully we'll try to get one more feeding before she goes out <clears throat> um have fun see you in day two and happy christmas keeping